Hey everyone, Sully Man here. Today starts the training for Adobe Illustrator. I know there's a lot of beginners out there ready to dive in but just don't know where to start and this is where to start. Uh, I want to show you how to find your way around in Adobe Illustrator and its interface. It's a pretty simple concept um, but some kind of get a little confused or intimidated by it so today I'm going to start the breakdown. Later videos I'm going to get into more specific stuff uh, like tools and uh, sub-tools and things of that nature. Uh, but today is the, the, the start to kind of get to know uh, Illustrator itself and, and where to find things and the menus and all that stuff. So uh, uh, bear with me and uh, let's get started. Uh, I went ahead and created uh, some graphics uh, to kind of help me explain Adobe's interface. And um, before I do that, I just want to let you know I'm working in Adobe Creative Cloud, which is the latest. Uh, you, it's a uh, sub subscription service now. Um, you guys might be in later versions, CS6, CS5, 3, CS, uh, maybe even further back. So um, some of this interface stuff won't apply to you, but um, you know, further information in the course will definitely uh, uh, be some of the core stuff in Illustrator that everybody will have. Uh, so if, if you're missing stuff, some stuff um, interface-wise, it's not too big of a deal. Everything's really kind of in the, still in the same location. Um, it's just extra stuff. So uh, it's better to deal interface-wise with the latest version because that's it's just going to have more features, whereas some of the stuff, it's, it's you know, just not there. Um, but the general idea and, and uh, workflow of Adobe Illustrator is still there. Um, so yeah, what you're looking at here is just imagine this. Um, crew drawing as a piece of paper sitting on a table and to our left we have all the tools for creation uh, on our right hand side we have colors and you know stacks of uh, uh, you know new paper or previous drawings uh, current drawings stuff like that so um, this is really kind of what Illustrator is uh, in my mind this is how I kind of picture the layout um, and again, right now I'm working in a new document, so think of the new document as this, this piece of paper or layer, if you will. Um, so to my left, I have tools. So that's exactly what this is. So this bar, this panel, um, are all the tools uh, that you need to create any piece of artwork in Illustrator. Uh, it contains any tools to manipulate pieces of artwork in Illustrator. Um, but uh, yeah, this, this panel right here is your, your tools panel. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. The second area that we're going to look at, you'll see this, it's sectioned off by a horizontal line. So you're seeing a, a bar here and then a bar here. This I like to think of as my secondary option menu. It's more of a stationary menu for doing quick changes on the fly, changing a color for a fill or a stroke, changing the actual width of the stroke. You see, as you can see, I can boost it up. Uh, changing the stroke style, um, changing a brush, uh, changing the opacity. And just keep in mind, I will go through what opacity is, um, what strokes are, paths, and all this stuff uh, later in the course. This is just getting to know uh, where to go. Um, I know it, it can be very intimidating. Uh, if you can imagine it like your first day in school at a new school, you really kind of don't know the school until you've really walked around and, and learned where the classrooms are. That's what we're doing today. Uh, that's why I'm going through this. So again, mess around with this stuff and just really kind of um, check your menus out and, and, and get to know stuff. So the more you do that, uh, the more comfortable you'll feel within Illustrator. It's a very, very, very user-friendly piece of software. Uh, so yeah, this is your pretty much your secondary stationary um, uh, menu. Uh, so the third section over here to the right is, if you notice, it's the same thing like this this color palette with our little paints, uh, color paints. That's what the swatches are. There are colors. That's how we you know pick our colors, change our colors. All of our color information is going to be within our swatches panel. Um, now these stacks of paper are layers, and I will get uh, further in depth. To layers, it seems to be uh, one of those um, subjects that people just kind of don't grasp. But essentially, it's like an overhead, uh, like the transparencies that your teachers used to use on overheads. Uh, just think of it as as um, a fresh 
piece of paper, uh, a plastic transparency with nothing in it, nothing contained. It's infinite possibilities. Um, and you can create multiple uh, layers that can create, I mean, that can contain all sorts of different types of artwork, but you can think of them more as being able to organize specific things. And I'll get into that later, but uh, that's, that, that's where your layers uh, uh, tab is. Um, now, all of these combined um, are separate tabs for specific things, uh, which you will learn later, but I highly suggest going through and just kind of checking them out and, and uh, you know, see for yourself you know, what they are and, and look at them so that later you'll know the kind of vocabulary I'm using and stuff. Um, you also know if I, if I hover over something long enough, a little hint will show up. This is character, so you can kind of do that with a lot of this stuff. Um, but yeah, this, this shouldn't be too intimidating. These are just uh, separate, separate uh, tabs located in a panel um, where you're going to be able to find things uh, to be able to alter artwork and create artwork and, and uh, what have you. So like this section here, if you notice, there's horizontal um, lines breaking up this section. This section default in Illustrator, they kind of categorize everything for you. Um, so this section right here is dealing with text. So if you notice here, with this character tab, I can go through and, and uh, you know select the the font that I'd like to use. Uh, you know, use uh, select the weight and you know if I want it out italicized or uh, you know I want larger text. I want to you know kern the lettering a little bit more, uh, stretch the lettering vertically, stretch it horizontally, use all caps, use small caps. You know this this is the characters uh, meant, uh, tab. This is your paragraph tab. So it's dealing with paragraphs and the uh, uh, aligning the, you know, justifying the text to the left or the center or to the right. Uh, this is your open type. So um, with um, specific fonts, there's uh, options to the fonts that you can actually uh, change the style of that specific font. Um, so this is right here. This panel of three tabs is dealing with text. This panel right here is dealing with brushes and strokes uh, and gradients. This one's for live trace. These are for uh, manipulating shapes, um, you know, merging them together, tweaking them, distorting them. Uh, this tab up here is kind of dealing with color and, and appearance. Uh, so it's kind of broken down for you uh, pretty easy. So, um, you know, don't be too intimidated by this stuff. Just jump, jump right in and, and, you know, be brave. Don't be scared and just kind of check this stuff out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. So that's really the general layout. So I'm going to create a new document. Um, and as with any piece of uh, software, you're going to have your main menu at the top. Uh, you're, I'm sure you've seen File. I'm sure you've seen Edit. I'm sure you've seen Window, View, Help. Um, those are kind of self-explanatory. File really contains dealing with a new document, saving documents, placing documents, importing things. That's where you're going to find that stuff in File. Edit really kind of deals with uh, editing the main document, you know, copying, pasting things. Um, this, this find and replace will actually, uh, within this artwork, say I wanted to find everything that had a green brush stroke to it. You could actually um, hit find and replace, and you can find you know uh, anything that you're looking for, um, whether it's text and, and stuff like that. Uh, you could you could use that. So this is really kind of editing things, copying, pasting. Um, you know, then further down, it's actually uh, where you can find your preferences for the actual software itself. Um, you know, sync settings, how you want your type to show up. Um, like here, if your previews are too small, you can actually enlarge them there. So that, that, that's the ed edit menu. Also keep in mind with file, when you're setting up a document, um, you might have set up a document in a color space. Uh, color spaces we'll get into later on, uh, but uh, default, I believe it's CMYK when you're an illustrator. And that's a specific color gamut, and it's based for uh, really kind of paper printing. But, um, you know, it, say you didn't want it, it to be in CMYK anymore, you could actually change it to RGB uh, through the file menu. So file menu is pretty standard. Edit's pretty standard. Now, Illustrator-specific menu items are object, type, select, effect. Uh, so these four right here, object, um, are dealing with objects. It's exactly what it is. And what are objects, you ask? Um, objects are anything graphic in Illustrator. If you notice, I can, you know, you'll see the smart guide 
this uh, this black this drawing turns you see this little blue uh, highlight that's actually a smart guy it's illustrator telling me hey there's something here but uh, this is actually an object that object I know it is a path um, because I that's what I drew um, the image with but all of this all these colors all these shapes everything they're objects um, types pretty self-explanatory um, if you're using the type tool and you type a word you're gonna make changes to that in your type menu you know so uh, anything dealing with type that's where really where you're gonna head um, you can also refine it through the tabs over here located in your side panel so that's dealing with text uh, select uh, select is exactly what you think it is when you're dealing with selection selecting this or selecting that specific color you could head over to select and you can refine your selection um, you could find by appearance these have appearances um, you could select an object let's see uh, we'll, we'll find an object that's we want to find all the text objects. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. There, found the text object. So later on, when you've created some artwork and it's, you know, filled with all types of text objects and uh, objects with appearances and paths and, and colors and opacities, you can go to select to find those specific things. So that, that's your select menu. Uh, and then lastly, we have the effects. You have uh, and if you notice with these menu, there are horizontal rules that break up or categorize um, the drop-down menus into specific categories. So if you notice here this horizontal line, you can see at the top it says Illustrator Effects. So these are all vector effects that you can apply to a graphic um, versus the Photoshop effects. Um, now, you ask what's the difference? Uh, when you're an Illustrator, you're dealing with vector artwork. Vector art artwork is infinitely resizable and will never lose quality. So if you were to uh, zoom in, which I'll, I'll show you right here, say we were zooming in to this artwork and you notice the edging never seems to lose quality. No matter where I'm at, that line just seems super duper smooth. Whereas, say you took a photograph and you wanted to blow that photograph up onto a billboard um, more than likely, you're going to probably have a hard time depending on the quality settings that you had originally set for that photo. So whatever camera took that photo, the settings within that camera, if they're very low resolution, like on a smartphone, um, more than likely, when you try to blow it up on a billboard, it's going to be really, really pixelated, which are like those little squares you start seeing, the little jaggedy edges. Um, that's because it's a raster graphic. Illustrator is not a raster uh, graphic. Um, it's vector graphic. So remember, with the um, vector stuff, it's infinitely resizable. Raster is not. Um, whatever the original document settings were is where that limitation is set at. So however big you made it, that's really the biggest it can get. Um, I mean, you can shrink it down, that's fine. But as far as blowing up, you can't. Whereas if you notice with this, I could shrink it down It'll be fine, just like in a raster graphic. But if I go huge, it's still not losing um, any quality. So, you know, the, the you can see the edges are just super smooth and, and nice and crisp. That's vector. That's the the versatility of vector graphics. So really, that that's um, all in all. That that's pretty much the interface. So get to know that very very well. You know, your main menus up here. You have a secondary uh, stationary option menu here for dealing with stuff and changing things on the fly. Here's your tool, or your toolbox, if you will, uh, just like it's on the left side here. Um, the actual document that we're in is this document here. And then on to the right, we have our, you know, all our other panels that have the individual tabs for specific things that we use. Uh, and that's the general interface. So uh, I hope you guys took something from this today and uh, maybe relieve some of the anxiety you have of hopping into Illustrator for the first time and really not knowing where you're at. Um, uh, the next video I'm probably going to break into creating a new document um, and uh, showing you some of the things that you can do in Illustrator. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. So uh, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, 
and pass this along. We're, we're going to definitely hop into this and, and get to know it together. Uh, thanks for watching.